Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is another Our Watch Tournament. We're continuing on the topic of the law of love. And my my last um my last episode, uh, and I, I said something that was that was pretty pretty important. Um, I was saying that that it seems like it's a new form of love that's been been um created, and this uh, new form of love it it deals with being you know uh, selfish and self righteous and the like. And then they also I was um. I was comparing that with with uh, unconditional love. Unconditional love, as we know, we understand is that God is love. So, well, what I want to touch basis on, I want to brief, briefly touch basis on that. Then I want to go further into this on law of love teaching, which is um, which this particular thing I want to talk about is the difference between conditional and unconditional love. But first, let's let, let me talk about this on first. Um, See, this 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 new form of love that I was talking about in my last rant, it occurs to me that we're within this new form of love, it's as though as we is creating a whole new God, in other words. We we just like I say we know we understand that that God is love, his unconditional love, his his love never fails, you know. Um and we know that. And we know, uh, you know, written in uh, in the sacred sacred scriptures and stuff. Uh, I believe it's um, First Corinthians chapter thirteen. It, it deals with love in its purest form, and ultimately, in the end, it it clearly states that God is love. So, with with within that, um, where when I was on saying this, I, I had thought about that and stuff, and I realized that that God. That on uh, God, He is love. Then I also realize also that this new form of love that we're creating is as though as we're creating a whole new entity, a whole new type of um, a whole new type of a God. You know what I'm saying? And this type of God is what we're following. Now, now the thing about it is that the the type of God that that we that we're creating within ourselves is actually us. You know what I'm saying? Now let me let me get your understanding about this. Now, first of all, um, we we all are, are children to the Most High God and stuff, and that's given and that's obvious. So if if um if we if we're children children to the Most High God and we know that God is love and we have the attributes of our Father, therefore that that makes us um, as gods also too. But on a but on a lower spiritual level, you know what I'm saying? Not not gods or lords, you know what I'm saying, where we're higher than God, but actually we we um we're heirs of the king to the throne, just like a um just like in in royalty, you have a king, you have a queen queen, you have a prince, you have a princess, and so forth, so forth. And that same analogy, that's how it is with us too, with God. You know, when God is our king, then we have other kings that's under us, which is men, you know what I'm saying, which is a man. Uh, then you have queens, which is the woman, you know, prince, the, the one son, princess, the daughter, and the like. So that's what I'm saying about this as that particular aspect, which there ain't nothing wrong with that, seeing it from that point of view. But from this other perspective that I'm telling you about is that this new form of love is like as though as we creating a whole different type of God within ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's a different type of God within ourselves. Am I saying that this um, God is, um, you know, um, the devil? I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But it, it does share a lot of similar attributes as the devil. You know what I'm saying? Um and you know, off the record and stuff too. Uh, notice I'm saying devil. I'm not saying you know Satan or Lucifer, because uh, when when you research Satan and Lucifer, uh, that's not necess- that's not referring to actually as the devil. Them are two totally different type of um, um, definitions and stuff of, of an angel, which that's that's um, another topic for another rant and stuff. So doesn't doesn't know that when when I'm using that and stuff. Um, but anyway, it's uh, it you know this new form of type of love it shares the after the same attribute of um, of you know the devil you know what I'm saying uh, uh, something that's on uh, pure evil you know what I'm saying and this new and let's let's take a look at the attributes of this new love the new this new type of form of love it deals with deals with self righteousness it deals with selfishness it deals with um, if you if if you can't uh, have it my way, then it's the highway. It deals with um, 
it deals with uh, law, it deals with rules and regulations um, and everything. And there's a penalty as well in, in this um, type of love. Now, the thing about it is that this type of love I'm talking about, it's, honestly, it's not as brand new, you know what I'm saying? Because um, nothing is new un under under the sun, you know what I'm saying? As you know, as stated, you know. So it's been around for centuries and stuff for a real long time and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is that nobody really never picked up on this, you know what I'm saying? Um, probably not in the way how I'm explaining it, but you know, it's the same thing. So this 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 new type of love, you know what I'm saying? This is almost it's a whole new different devil you know what i'm saying and and within these you know within that and people um since since they inheriting this and stuff right they're inheriting this new uh, attribute you know what i'm saying where it's all about themselves and nobody else you know what i'm saying or or it could be deeper than that it could just be all about your inner circle and nothing else you know what i'm saying they don't care about nothing else you know you know what i'm saying and and this type of um this type of love is very dangerous. It's deadly. You know what I'm saying? Um, in, in my last in my last rant, I was uh, also telling you that you know it's different people that that has a different perspective about what love is. You know what I'm saying? So they carry out you know their life deal with this particular perspective about love. You know what I'm saying? So and this type of um, love that I'm, that I'm talking about is is different. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Although it's been around, but it seems like it's evolving into something more worse, more dark, more sinister. You, you know what I'm saying? And that's what makes it so dangerous. You know what I'm saying? And so, so I want everyone to be aware of this this type of love. You know what I'm saying? And also, in my last rant, I was telling you that uh, you know it's better for you to uh, stray away from from the um, from that type of love and and come into the narrow path of the love. You know what I'm saying? Which is unconditional love. This right here, in, in turn, um, brings me to the topic that I want to talk to you about, which is the difference between conditions and unconditional love. Um, first of all, let's start off with conditions. Um, conditions deals with any rules that's, that's set in motion. You know what I'm saying? Well, if it's um, dealing with law, regulations, whatever, there's a certain type of rules that, that's, that's been set in place. Um, I hope y'all remember the last time when I ran it, uh, and I was telling you about business stuff, right? I was telling you within the business, you know, and I was giving you like an example about dating and courtship. I was telling you that you have to go through an application process, then from the application process, you have to, you know, go through an interview and, you know, so forth, so forth. And I was using that analogy to give you an understanding that, um, that the whole thing is a binding contract. You know what I'm saying? So likewise, um, conditional love is a binding contract. You know what I'm saying? It's, everything is binding. Uh, people, um, they, they, they say, you know, things in a the relationship. They say, hey, if, if, you, if you beat me, that's it. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? And they, then they call it a deal breaker. You know? And, you know, it's different stuff. Like, people, they, they have a different um, understanding and perspective about, you know, what they want in the relationship, you know, some people say they want a, a woman that's slim, you know, uh, some people say they want a woman that's thick, you know what I'm saying, a woman say they, they want a man who's masculine, they want a man who's strong, and you know, and, and you know, in the like and stuff, while other women, you know, they, they prefer for a man to be, you know, more passive, or, you know, and in the like, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, but these are different types of um, conditions that's been placed, you know what I'm saying, already right off the back end in the relationship and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And these conditions could have a very negative effect to it, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're trying to understand to love someone unconditionally and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, all it takes is for someone to do something that you, you don't like, you don't agree with, then that's it, you know what I'm saying? And so, the things that, that also I mentioned about a few seconds ago, I want to sound like I'm contradicting myself because I'm not but um, the things that I was saying earlier and stuff like that, you know, is it wrong for, you know, a person to have like a certain like or dislike about a person and, you know, and just like that? No, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Long as it don't affect the, the parameters of what um, true love, true unconditional love is. Because you got to understand also like within these particular parameters that you just set forth, you know what I'm saying? People 
um, change. You know what I'm saying? People change physically, mentally, and spiritually. And that's what people don't understand. People don't understand that people is going to change physically, mentally, and spiritually. Uh, physically is that you're not going to look stay young forever. You're going to eventually, your metabolism is going to slow down. You're just going to gain weight. Uh, you're not going to be the skinny person that you used to be. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this for, for the guys and about the woman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and especially after when, when women um, give birth to a child and stuff, their body go through different changes. You know what I'm saying? So we're where um they're not they they're not gonna be the same co body figure that you first met them, especially when they, they they had your child and stuff. They're gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? They go through different changes. They their hormones changes as they get older. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean? Um and that's likewise the same thing with men, women, you know what I'm saying? Men go through changes as well. Their their testosterone changes, you know what I'm saying? Their metabolism slows down as well. You know what I'm saying? Where you know he used to be, you know, strong and as you say, build and sick and whatever and stuff like that then it comes to the point he get older he's not going to be too much like that no more because of, he's changing you know what I'm saying but the whole thing about it is that within within conditions and stuff right you be so caught up in that, you know what I'm saying? Then you start trying to place rules on a person. You start to tell a person, oh, you changing. Well, you need to go work out. When the person been working out, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. The person probably been working out, but it's their body that's going through changes where it's making them harder to uh, adapt to the changes that their body is going through. You know what I'm saying? People have different genetic um, coding that the, that the um, Most High God is planning them in. You know what I'm saying? It's natural for a person to be heavy set. It's natural for a person to be thick. It's natural for a person to even be skinny and stay skinny for the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? But also at the same time, there are also different things that happen in life that causes a person to change, which is dealing with the mental. You know what I'm saying? You know, you probably be stressed over children. You know what I'm saying? After you gave birth to a child, you stressed out. You know what I'm saying? You used to going out and having fun with your husband all the time and now you can't do that as often now you know what I'm saying because you have a responsibility of your household now you know what I'm saying you get stressed out you know what I'm saying it's for men and women you know what I'm saying things changes you know so within that change that doesn't mean that oh they they that's a deal breaker they broke your rules and stuff like that no that's a that's a unfair unfit rule right there you know what I'm saying so the thing that I want you to get to realize is that when you deal, when you, when when you place certain standards like that, place certain conditions like that, you're destined for your relationship to fail. Your relationship is going to fail. You're going to be divorced. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be in a healthy relationship. You're going to be miserable because you're looking at the wrong thing about the person. You know what I'm saying? Um, to be honest with you, uh, when you date a person, you you should actually be going for the person. Mental and spiritual connection, not just the physical. The physical should be an added bonus, you know what I'm saying? The, the physical should be be that added feature, just like you're going to look for a car and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You, you get the car, you get a certain type of car, and it's fulfilling your needs and stuff, which is to get you from point A to point B, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with lecture, it's to get you from point A to point B, you know what I'm saying? But, but, um, the added features of the car is like you have a CD player, you have a CD changer, sunroof, and all stuff there. And the added features in the relationship is the same way. It's an added feature, you know what I'm saying? This person, you know, slim, you know, whatever, and stuff like that. And you should look at it from that perspective, you know, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to continue on and go on deeper into uh, even deeper about the difference between condition and unconditional. Um, but right now, I'm, I ran out of time. So until then, y'all want well, to fight faith with fight faith with faith, and I'll be praying with y'all. Peace and God bless y'all.